you got my message. Yes. What's the emergency? Well, as, as we discussed, Cortland Electronics really needs to hit some new demographics beginning. Well, aren't you coming in? You want me to work here? Uh, you have a problem with that? Dorothy, why don't you tell me what it is you really want? I'll just deliver. Let me get some work done. Sometimes I like to work from home. And Jackson knows I'm here? Jackson knows that he and I are committed to each other, just as I am committed to our partnership in this business we share. And having made both those choices, I'm not about to walk on eggshells around you, Caleb. Have you ever? Look, let's just get to it. And yes, Jackson knows. Well, that's a hell of a long way to answer a simple question. Oh. Now what? Hey, um, this is from Chandler. Is this the paperwork about the transfer of the company, finally? The last of it. You still JR's messenger boy? He gave me a job to do, and I did it. Asher, it's not a job. He's using you to send me a message. I own your son. Asher. You're worth more than you realize. You're smart, you're capable, you've, you've got all kinds of choices. But you don't agree with my choices, do you? I'm out of here. You handled that so very well, the best you possibly could have. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's just get down to business, shall we? Look, if I may... No, I... you may not. We have work to do. Well, these files aren't even numbered. This, this is just hundreds and hundreds of pages that are not even numbered. Wow, I am so tired of JR's childish antics. Just let the attorneys handle it. No, no, no. I'm gonna handle this one myself. You know what's going on? I got it! I want to see JR. Um, I, 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 I am sorry. He's not here right now. Then I want you to deliver a message for me. Tell him I was here. And tell him that I am tired of all his childish games. And if he wants to continue to act like a jackass, I will teach him a lesson that he will never forget. Okay, sure. Um, but do you really think he's going to be that intimidated? I want him to be smart and get the message. And he knows me well enough to know that I will never lose a battle like this. Never? Never. I always come out on top. You always do, don't you? I, I mean, you always come out on top. Maybe I can learn something. Look, right. My father, he always talked about you with such great respect. I mean, even when you guys didn't get along. Well, that's very nice to know. Actually, respect went both ways. And even though you're like this huge glamour goddess, I think what he admired most about you is that you were tough when you had to be. <laughs> Adam thought he was my equal. <laughs> And that's really tough for Adam Chandler to admit. You know, the truth is I, I, I actually miss him. Yeah, yeah, I miss him too. Especially when things are really hard and tough. But I, I mean, you've been through it, right? All the bad stuff you've been through. I mean, they could make a whole nother movie about your life. And you know what's so funny is that everybody thinks that you brought it on yourself. But at the end, everybody's standing up and cheering for you. So what's your secret? No secret. You have to own your successes. And never apologize for who you are. And in order to make that happen, you have to believe in yourself. I mean, that's the real trick. I don't know. I think that seems impossible to do. 
Well, no one's going to believe in you if you don't. Okay, I, I have to run. Okay. But please, uh, tell your father I said hello. I will. And tell your brother to watch out. Is she on your case about something? No. No, I'm fine. I can handle myself. I believe you can. Fired up when you got back from JR's. What happened? I told you, JR wasn't there. So I've moved on. What happened? Tell me something. What do you intend to do about your son? About Asher? We just don't get along. Well, you should. Palmer wanted you to be reunited. It was Palmer's last will and testament that got all of this started. <clears throat> well, that's my problem, Dorothy, not yours. That's not true. It affects me, too. It affects the way we can run this business together. That's a pretty interesting justification for sticking your nose in my business. You two fight constantly. And I know how badly you want that to end. Not anymore in this conversation. Well, I have finally figured out a way to put an end to it. Hmm. If you're interested. Colby Chandler forever. Watched her grow up. She's had a really rough time of it. Very hard time and a horrific mother. But now she seems to want to change her life. She seems to want to take more control. Why are we even talking about her? Because your son is still clearly interested in her. So, if you want to get your son back on your side, the path might very well be through Colby Chandler. So I said, I think...